Hi guys, my name is Grim Savior. Welcome to my Redstone World. Today we're going to be looking at my new kelp farm design. So this is my latest design. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize if you built my last kelp farm. Uh, it's got some issues that I'll go over with uh, at the end of the video. Yeah, it's not going to work. Sorry. When you look at classic kelp farm designs, uh, specifically the cub fan design, you see a lot of these V-shaped farms. And they work really well, but they're quite big. Uh, this uh, farm is 128 pistons and it's 20 blocks wide. My farm is also 128 pistons, but it's only 13 blocks wide. And it's also 6 blocks shorter than the cub fan design. My design is stackable to the sky limit, and uh, it could also be made as long as you want, though keeping it in box wide makes it easy for water collection. As you can see, I used a lot of fancy blocks that aren't really necessary. Um, I like to build really nice looking farms, uh, but you don't need sea lanterns, you don't need glass over here, and you certainly don't need the blue ice. Um, this is the budget version here. If you're just starting your world, you can definitely use jack-o'-lanterns. You don't need the blue ice. It works fine without it. You don't have to have glass back here. Um, I just like to have the glass there so that the sea lanterns glow and it looks pretty at night. Well, let's get into the tutorial. The first thing you're going to do is take some sea lanterns or the solid block of your choice and lay a row of blocks. And you're going to do a spacing of two, and do another row of eight. Then you can take your pistons, and we're going to put them on top like so, and then drop them here. Then we're going to take our observers, and put them facing towards the inside of the farm on both sides. And all we have to do is take some glass, and we're going to build up like this, and we're going to count. Five, so one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to do that on both sides. So we got one, two, three, four, five. And we can take, um, I like to use glass down here, but you don't have to use glass. Like I said, it's just so that you can see the sea lanterns. And you can take a solid block on the back side like this. And next we can take our stairs, and we're going to make them like so, and the water is going to be coming this way. And again, you don't have to use blue ice, but I like to. And we're going to make a row of blue ice like this, and we're going to take our glass panes and come across the front. Just like that. Once we've done our glass panes, we're going to come across here. Some more blocks down. Again, it doesn't have to be glass. We just hold the block. Put redstone across. And we can take our blue ice. And come across like this. Just like that. And that's going to be uh, for our water collection later. And we're going to want to come inside the farm with our water bucket. Put water sources everywhere. On both sides here at the bottom. We're going to put water sources over top of the observers. Now, we want to make sure to get rid of the flowing water in the middle here because we didn't put the water source there. So, we're just going to plant out until it reaches the observer. We're going to do that for every single one. I will do that and I will be back. Okay, now we want to be able to collect this kelp. We're going to take some half slabs, place them along the top like here. These are just temporary. Of course, we're going to hear that lovely piston noise every time. We're going to take our water bucket, fill our stairs, and the water goes across and we break these guys. Now that that's done, you'd want only build one, 
I guess you could seal this up like that. Have your collection going across. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys how to mirror it and how to stack it. So first, let's come across here. And then put our redstone dust down. We can take our sea lanterns again. Just like that. And our pistons. And two block spacing. And then we're going to basically copy the other side. I'm going to do that quickly. And then I will show you guys uh, how to connect them together. Alright, so we've copied the observer and it's the design with the solid blocks and the glass and the redstone dust on both sides. If you want ice on this side or a solid block, doesn't matter. I just like to be fancy. And then we're just going to connect our glass like this. I'm going to do that on both sides. Okay, now that we've mirrored the farm, all that's left to do is take our water bucket, place it across here, and then we just need a chest, like so, copper, and so can't forget, we're going to need a glass pane here. Now, stacking these is very simple. You just take your dirt. Place it across here. And you're going to do the same on both sides, and then when you take your glass, you're going to come up with your glass and then place your glass panes here for your collection. And I'll show you guys on the other one now what that looks like. It's super easy. You just have your glass pane and then solid glass, you know, and then there's the glass pane for the other one. Uh, all the way down, just like that. You guys can see that clearly. And then everything just goes down the same chute. Alright, the problem child. So if you guys built this last design that I came up with uh, about three weeks ago, you're going to notice that it stops producing kelp. I'm really sorry for that. Uh, what ends up happening is kelp has an age uh, every time that it grows, and it randomly picks a number between 1 and 25. Because of the double observer design, there's a chance where the kelp will get below the observer and become age 25 and stop growing. Uh, the only way to fix the problem, unfortunately, is just to come along and hit these buttons to reset the farm uh, or you know, the new farm. Um, I'm really sorry about that, guys. I'll be putting uh, uh, a note on the old video that this guy's broken. It was a, seemed like a fantastic idea, but it didn't work. Uh, in the end, unfortunately, having the pistons firing individually uh, just doesn't work. So again, my name is Grim Savior. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I'm sorry about the old farm not working. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, promise it'll never happen again. Well, okay. I wouldn't want to lie to you guys, right? So, yeah. I'll see you in the next one.